Charizards! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Heart. We are more than a channel, we are a community. Heart Squad, you are gonna love today's video if you are a vintage Pokemon card aficionado because I not only have my friend's Pokemon card collection, he found his old Pokemon card collection while moving recently, and he said he has incredible holographic Pokemon cards from the base set jungle fossil he didn't really even know where they were from so we are going to look at his entire collection today and he also gave me something else that i think you guys are going to love that is these tons of old pokemon magazines especially the scry the official pokemon value magazine this thing is something that I used to have lots of. If you don't know, this actually had the prices for the Pokemon cards, individual cards, based on the set and the condition. And so he gave me these that he found, and y'all are gonna love these because I, one, haven't looked through his collection yet, I haven't looked through these magazines yet, so we're gonna do that in today's episode, and I promise y'all are going to enjoy it because I love nostalgia. Before we get into the actual cards part, I did want to briefly go through some of these magazines, and if we have time left over at the end, then I'll go through these even more in depth. So the first one we have is a Scry magazine, and it's just so crazy to see all of the nostalgic Pokemon on the cover right there, Special Collector's Edition. Southern Islands, very nice. And then there's some that I just, I don't even know that I've even seen before. Of course, it uh, says, take a peek at the Pokemon Gold cards. I'm assuming they're talking about the Gold Star. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll find out because we'll open that one up. Ooh, and then we have a Beckett Pokemon Collector one. Whoa. Win a first edition Charizard. See page 54. Okay. I just, okay, I want to look at that really fast. Oh my gosh. What do you know? It's prepare for the greatest match ever. Pokemon the first movie, November 12th. Well, what do you know? That's coming out pretty soon. I can't wait. Ooh, look at this. What is this? Pokemon Kids Superstars. Look at that. God, so much nostalgia in one area. All right, so we are on a mission to find. I know I'll show you the rest of the magazine shortly. There it is. Again, if you forgot about it in the previous page, you get to see the movie again. How to Win Big at Super Smash Brothers, Nintendo 64. Gosh, Jason Rich, if you're wa if you're still wa if you're watching my channel, hit me up. Look at that fossil base. Everything is just amazing. Got game Pokemon Yellow, and uh, here I'll, I'll quickly go. Of course, there's looks like there's also prices in this magazine as well. So I just want to know how to win a first edition. Is this it? Oh my gosh. Hotter than hot. Wizards of the Coast 8.5 near mint first edition Charizard. No, we're late. No. Entries must be received by December 15, 1999. Would y'all think that would be a hilarious video if I just went over to Beckett and see if I can claim this? Let me know in the comment section if y'all want me to do that because I think that would be hilarious. Well, that's pretty cool. So this Beckett magazine looks like there's a top deck magazine that says need Charizard got milk. Whoa. Base set to booster pack inside. I'm going to go ahead on a limb and say that uh, my friend Justin, this is his collection. He probably already opened up that base set pack. But uh, this is pretty incredible, just seeing some of the magazines like this. I think what's going to be fun is my friend Justin says he does have holographic cards in here. So this is the official Scry magazine that has the prices for the cards. This came out in October of 1999. We'll go ahead and take a quick look-see at this one. I'd like to compare the prices of what I think the cards are worth today. Obviously, I'll probably, I may put on the screen a price of some of the more high-end holographic cards, but I will look in here and see how much they have each of the cards worth. 
So uh, I guess I need to find where the specific page is. Oh, here we go. Oh, this looks like it's more just telling you like all the attacks. Gosh, it's telling you all of the attacks and everything for the, uh, oh God, did I just tear a page? Oh well. There's some uh, Pokemon training card Q&A. There's some information about it. Welcome to the world. Hey, Kalak Fung. <laughs> I wonder if he watches my channel. Gosh, look at that. And how to spot worthless counterfeit cards to avoid being... Who actually would have Q-Boy cards? Don't even know what that is. All right, is this the... Ooh, that's pretty nice. The Southern Islands set, very nice, very nice. All right, so what I want to do is try to find the page where the Pokemon... Uh, it could be further this way. I'll try to find it where it should list out the prices. And then if I need to... Oh, here we go. Well, that was pretty fast. Gosh, just look at that. These ads are even incredible. We have something better than US edition Pokemon. Japanese! Sorry, I like these better, especially this one right here. Well, they decided to put the first edition Blastoise, but there we go. So, uh, first edition Charizard. Is there, oh, $88 for a first edition Charizard way back when in 1999. Unlimited one in 1999, right over here, $35. So we'll compare the prices, but uh, let's dig into that. I got Scry Magazine ready to go. I got these ready to go. Let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, doing this with one hand makes this very, very difficult. But these are very well protected, of course, in the uh, five star binders. But here we go. Let's, uh, whoa. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Surprises all around. This is a Charizard gold-plated card, and uh, I'm sure plenty of y'all recognize this. This is from Burger King way back in, I guess, 1999 is when these released, but Flame Pokemon it has some stats. And then there is the actual card itself. They gave away, these usually would come in actual Pokeballs. And so this is pretty cool. Oh, little extra present right there. So now, Let's dig in. What do we got here? So this looks like Japanese cards from Gym Challenge or Gym Heroes, Team Rocket. So a very, very nice start. And one of the things I always like to mention is some of my other friends, like my friend Sajin, when we saw his collection, his cards were just in a box. These are, act and they were still in great condition. Like I'm very, like in the sleeves and everything. When they're in binders like these and you just leave them for years, they are surprisingly do a great job of protecting the cards. So we'll see. He did say that he did play with his cards before, um, but for the most part, hopefully they are in good condition. Brock, what did you do to Blaine? All right, so got some Japanese cards. Very, very nice. And looks like there is some random other ones the little minefield got going on over there very nice magic art from team rocket sabrina's porygon and of course the vintage japanese pokemon cards had the word pocket monsters on the back but in this variety the newer ones the newer japanese cards it's more rainbow colors and i think it still says pocket monsters on it meow from jungle nidoran female from jungle cubone from jungle so that's pretty cool some more jungle cards, Eevee, Tauros. Just keeps on going. So it's, it's pretty cool. He has them uh, relatively in order or at least by set. So that is a big plus. What else do we got here? Ooh, a very nice Pikachu. And uh, so I think these are gym heroes, but these may have been part of the actual decks that you were able to have gotten. There's a nice Scyther that's in jail for some reason. Stole some chocolate. And it keeps on going. What's going on with Vol uh, Weeping Bell over there? <laughs> Scared of some plants or something. I don't know. Erica's Perfume. Spiro, or Lieutenant Surge's Spiro. It's very nice. And some more Team Rocket cards. Japanese ones. And oh, there we go. Well, look at that. Southern Islands Japanese cards. These are the things in the Scry magazine, like further up here, it was talking about specifically. I don't think it actually, ooh, it does have, it has jungle prices, little tournament calendar. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Oh, there we go. 
And it has Japanese basic jungle fossil team. Oh, it actually has the prices for these. I am actually very impressed. I'm not going to look up the prices for the, uh, like, unlimited ones, but there it is. These are the Southern Island cards. Exactly right here. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Butterfree. Butterfree. These are all of the cards, though. So they did have holographic ones. That's pretty cool that it has, like, beach, sea, jungle, and it has all of them right there, so you can take a look. An amazing set that you originally would have to get in a little binder that would say Southern Islands like that, whether it be in Japanese. They also have the English ones, and I know a lot of y'all do collect Southern Island cards. So pretty neat that he does have two of those right there. Maybe just try to, oop, maybe not. I don't want to like ruin the condition. Maybe we'll check the condition a little bit later on. But oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going, I'm going way too fast. Did you see that? That was a ton of base set holographic cards. Now we're getting into the good stuff, but I do want to fit, I want to look through every card because it's not every day that we find a collection like this. And so far, uh, just looking at the Japanese cards that I used to collect as well when I was younger, I am very, very impressed. That's it. What are you doing? Looking up the skirt over there. So there we go. Look at this. Zapdos, Magneton, Raichu, and look at Raichu! Raichu is a shadowless card. Oh, that's great. If you don't know what shadowless is, there was different print ones. There was the first edition print run, uh, shadowless, which is essentially the shadow being gone, as well as the HP. From the two, that one's more bold than that one right there. But Raichu Shadowless card. There is potential to be some big bucks here. And I did forget to mention, Justin is wanting to sell all of these cards. So he'd prefer to do it all in one big swoop. But for, for maybe some of these bigger cards, like the Shadowless Raichu, uh, or even like this, a base set Blastoise, uh, please do email me. And uh, yeah, and we can chat that way, but it will likely either be for more of the high-end cards or everything together in one big swoop. So just to repeat, Justin does want to sell all of these cards. So Zapdos, Magneton, Fossil, Holographic, the Raichu Shadowless one. Let me see if I can pull this one out just so we can see the uh, condition. Oh, he has them in a sleeve as well. Very nice. So there is the front of it. And I don't know if that's just, if there's like any scratches that are just on this little sheet right here. So it may not be completely. So there's a little whitening at the top, but for the most part, I didn't really see any scratches on the holographic itself. So that's very cool. A shadowless Raichu holographic base set. Gosh, he has so many. Look, look at this right here. He has two Blastoise holographics. Gyarados from base set, Blastoise from base set, another Gyarados from base set, Blastoise, and then he got the Polyrath Bros over here. So I know y'all are probably also wanting me to, uh, maybe, is there anything on the, oh my, oh, oh my gosh, three Charizards! Three base set Charizards. Okay, I'm going way too fast. Calm down. We are looking at the back of the cards just so y'all can kind of get a little sneak peek. Or not sneak peek, but so, you know, if you want to see the conditions more later on, if you're potentially going to buy, I can definitely show y'all. But for now, just to show the backs of the cards, and these were all holographic cards. I mean, yeah, there is whitening because they're old, but for the most part, nothing too crazy. It's too Venusaur and another Shadowless card. A shadowless Venusaur, but we're skipping ahead because we got these. Two Hitmonchan, so Jackie Chan cards. A first edition Machamp holographic. That was very nice, came in the starter decks. Kangaskhan holographic from Jungle. We'll take a quick look at the backs of those cards real quick. A lot of this is just random dust and stuff. Like you see, it's moving. That is just part of the binder. So the conditions are a lot better, but I won't go through each and every card just because I don't want the video to be like an hour long. But what a treat to see these. 
Look at that. There it is, an unlimited base set Venusaur holographic shadowless base set Venusaur. I'm gonna try to get this one out for y'all. I'll just take it out of the sleeve, it's fine. If I just very gently so y'all can see. So I don't know if that's just like, it's a, like a little wear on the front, nothing too crazy. And there's the back, there is whitening at the top. It, it's not as bad as it looks, the sun's shining in here, but there it is. This is a shadowless Venusaur. So with the Raichu and the Venusaur alone, these are probably worth a decent amount. Let's take a look at the scry and see what it says. First edition Raichu is over yonder, Raichu. $39, all right, very nice. And Venusaur is $38. So they had Raichu being worth more than the Venusaur. How nice, look at this guys. Look at this. Three different base set Charizards. But we gotta give my man Pinsir some love. So there's a jungle holographic Pinsir. Clefable holographic jungle Clefairy. Scyther, one of my favorite jungle holographic cards. And then we are down, well, there's a lot more behind this, but three base set Charizard cards. There's the, uh, a little bit of a closer look at, especially at the bottom so you can get the dates and see what edition the holographic card is. So this is actually incredible. He has three different Charizard cards. I don't want to ruin the card at all, but it's, it's, oh, it's still in the sleeve. Okay, very nice. Base set holographic Charizard, three of them. Sorry, my hands are all, uh, I'm training for American Ninja Warrior and it destroys your hands, hence all the calluses on my hands, so I apologize for that, but there we go. This one's actually in pretty good condition. Centering looks like it's in perfect condition, so a very nice, Charizard, and these are all for sale, everybody. I think prices for Charizard holographic cards have gone up significantly. We'll take a look at the, uh, wait, was this unlimited? So where would be Charizard? Oh, we already looked up the Charizard card. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Unlimited $35. So nowadays, I think these are probably around $100 each. Pending of the condition, of course. They probably could be worth a little bit more, but I'll just leave those in there. And we can take a look. So this one, the whitening is a little bit worse on that one than the first one that we showed. But this one, yeah, a little whitening on this one as well. But who knows what it looks like out of the actual uh, binder itself. So very, very nice condition cards. And then we got another wide assortment of holographic cards, including an Aerodactyl from Fossil, Haunter from Fossil, Hitmonlee from Fossil, Hypno, haven't seen that one in a while, Hypno from Fossil, one of my favorite Dragonite cards. Get back in there, Dragonite. Dragonite holographic from Fossil, Gengar from Fossil, and of course they did have first edition ones, and as I say that, an Articuno first edition Fossil card. That is beautiful. I'll get back to that shortly because there's another first edition, a first edition Fossil Kabutops card. This is one of the best collections I have seen for somebody just finding after, and my friend Justin was just moving from apartment and he brought some boxes from his parents' house and these cards were in it. So there's the Articuno. Let's take a little look. Wow. This actually looks like, this is just on the binder, I believe. This is a almost like perfect condition, first edition Articuno holographic card right here. Yikes, that is, that's insane. These are like such a gorgeous, colorful page right here. That Dragonite's a very nice one. And then continuing on, this is just holographic after holographic. Looks like another Clefable from Jungle. Vaporeon from Jungle. Victory Bell, Jungle card, of course. 
Lapras, and of course these are all unlimited. The other ones, the Articuno and the Kabutops was first edition, so. Oh, I've not seen that card in a while. And guys, please do comment in the comment section below your favorite holographic card from this collection. Ditto. A Machamp that is still in the plastic. That's actually incredible. How did my friend Justin not have the urge as a kid to open up this? That's very, very impressive. These were usually in the starter decks for base set, and that's how usually you would get them like this. So kudos to Justin for keeping that sealed like that. Looks like a Muck holographic card, you can barely tell, and a very nice Raichu Fossil Holographic. That one you can barely tell. Hey, there you go, a little sparkly in there. What do we got on this page? More holographics from Jungle. How many doubles has there been? I feel like Justin has a lot of doubles of these because he originally did tell me that he did have all sets like complete, but he sold a lot of them a long time ago when he was younger. So very interested to see what, if you put them all together now, what he has. Neo Genesis. Holographic, these are Japanese ones, but that's still very nice. Team Rocket, Dark Slowbro. A, uh, or Slow King, sorry. Um, Aerodactyl, Fossil. Gosh, more, re uh, more doubles. Ninetales, Base Set, Scyther, Jungle, Pidgeot. Probably one of my favorite jungle cars. I'm saying everyone's my favorite, but yikes, ugh. This is absolutely, look at that, another double. Nine Tails base set, Wigglytuff from Jungle. That is a Japanese Raichu holographic. Another Victory Bell holographic. Vile Plume holographic, Chansey. Mr. Mime from Jungle. I am very curious to see, he has so many Jungle holographic cards if he has some of the air jungle holographic cards where the symbol's not there for just the holographic cards. That's really nice. So we'll take a look at the uh, condition for those. Got some whitening, some whitening, but some of them are actually surprisingly in like very, very nice condition. So uh, for like kudos to Justin for those, but look at these guys. Look at this page. Oh my gosh. We got a Magneton. And then what's going on with this Magneton? Looks like looking at the dates, it says right here, 1995, 99, 1995, no 99. So I'm guessing that may be a fourth print edition, but for the more savvy collector, oh no, excuse me, what am I talking about? That's a shadowless Magneton. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Another amazing find, wow. So there we go, the shadow and the bold with the HP would be to tell the difference. So a shadowless Magneton holographic card. And then right over here we have a Jolteon jungle card. Probably, now this is my favorite jungle holographic card just because it is, like the colors with it. Gem Mint Pokemon, if you're, wa well, if you're watching this right now, there you go, that one's for you. Let's take a look and see if it's Gem Mint. Wow. That is actually very, very amazing condition. I am so surprised. All right, Nidoking base set, and then of, there we go, a dark Charizard Team Rocket holographic card. And then we got a Snorlax jungle card. Alakazam base set, statistically one of the rarest base set cards that you can get was the Alakazam holographic card, even though everybody loves Charizard. So it's very nice to get Alakazam. Mewtwo, base set. And of course you're seeing this, a first edition Flareon Jungle Holographic card. Let's take a look, Let's just memorize those real quick. Let's take a look at the condition of the back of these again, just so you can see. There's the dark Charizard right there. Actually it looks like it's in very nice condition. There is the first edition Flareon card. Could be in a little bit better condition, but not too shabby. And then of course we've got lots of doubles on this page, especially of Magneton going across, but we'll take another look. It looks like he has a Ditto holographic once again. Magneton from Fossil, 
Zapdos, Fossil, a Lapras Unlimited Holographic card. What do you know? Another Fossil Magneton card, Aerodactyl Fossil card. I believe the Aerodactyl was a card that they gave at pre-release. It would say pre-release right there. Gengar, got a, so we have plenty of doubles, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wow, that's a first edition one. So we got regular unlimited unlimited and then a first edition Magneton Fossil Holographic card. Gosh, let's see if we can just tell. I mean, they look same color wise essentially, or at least on camera. So maybe not if you look even closer. Nine tails, base set. And of course they are mowing outside of my apartment right now. So I apologize if you're now hearing the mowers in the background, but let's take a quick look at the condition of all of these. And it looks like these are in fairly decent shape. There's some whitening, of course, but you know, with older cards. And then again, even more Blastoise holographics. I think that brings the grand total to three Blastoise holographics, three Venusaur holographics, even though this, these two are just unlimited print runs. A Magneton unlimited base set one, and even more, another Zapdos holographic, Raichu from Fossil. Wait, you know, more doubles. Chansey, Mewtwo, Moltres from Fossil. There's the Dragonite from Fossil, but it's the Japanese version of it, so that's pretty cool. We'll take a look over here at the conditions of those cards. There's, of course, the Japanese one with that back, so that's pretty nice looking. These actually look like they're in pretty good condition, so that's pretty cool. I think that's your, oh, these are base set too. Okay, excuse me. For a second, I was like, that's gotta be like the third or fourth Clefable that we have seen. So we got some base set two cards. Of course, there was like a base set two pack up there. I don't know. There's some um, Japanese holographic cards, another Gengar fossil holographic card. Very, very nice. Nine Tails and Mewtwo from base set two. Pidgeot Clefairy from Pace Set 2. Another Snorlax from Jungle. Let's take a quick look and we are coming towards the end of this and then I'll be sure to go through the magazines so y'all can get a little bit more dose of nostalgia looking at the magazines. Very nice. And then the final is a Gyarados from Pace Set 2. Dark Golbat from Team Rocket, a ditto and it looks like a rainbow energy, both from uh, Team Rocket and Fossil, respectively. And there's the backs of those. Wow, wow, wow. Before we left off, I did want to just go through once again. I know a lot of y'all get a lot of nostalgia when you're just looking through one of these old magazines. Oh, what do you know? US Premier Edition, first and second. We still have both in stock. I wonder if this place is even still in business. That would be very cool to see if they are or not, but the gathering ground. Gosh, if we can only go back in time and go to these places and just like rack up all of the cards, I think that would be absolutely incredible. So they have more like different stuff. This is the Scry Magazine. What is this? Whoa. You can win a cool Pocket Monsters mystery package. Look at that. That is awesome. I kind of want to do that. Oh, hello, Laura Croft. What's going on? And then we got Darth Maul on the back. This was the Scry magazine. This is not just the only one like this. They kept on releasing them. Probably have some myself at my house. Pretty nice. I will also, Justin told me, to, uh, if I'd like, I can sell these magazines as well. So if you are wanting to buy the whole magazine, it won't be that expensive at all. Just uh, let me know. Let me know if you would like to purchase this as well. The Japanese, or not the Japanese, the Pokeball, the gold Charizard one from Burger King. Let's just take a look at this one once again, because it's just, look at that. PlayStation 1 games just littered across the page. A editor's note. And it's just such incredible to go back in time while you're opening up these magazines and just checking out like these old leagues that I used to be part of. The movie, the, the amazing Pokemon movie, probably the real life Pokemon. Oh, Photoshop from Windows 95, you gotta love it. 
or a 99 or whatever it was. Croc 2, I remember that. This was this page again, got game. Just the secrets of evolution for the birds. This is some pretty cool stuff. Pokemon, the first movie. Some uh, very nice merchandise that is probably not around. If y'all, oh, there we go, look. Gold plated trading cards. Between November 15th and December 26th, you'll have the options of purchasing one for $1.99. Oh. And then there it is right there. Minus the actual Pokeball part, but that's pretty cool. Got some kids' drawings. I wonder if any of these are people. Was that in the two? No, 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 two. I don't think the two was around back then. And then we got some uh, just references of that. Ooh. Spotlight's price. So it has, like, look at that. Dragonite. $4. Is that the rare or the holographic? I don't think, oh, that was a $4 holographic card. So it's just very cool to see the uh, prices way back when. The clip track, interesting, okay. Pokemon price guide, so they have their own price guide. Oh look, Justin actually was updating the prices in the magazine. Oh, that's hilarious, when he was like collecting them and stuff. Very nice, very cool to see that he does that. It also has toys. It also has toys and comics and stuff and tops cards. I have these tops cards and it has the prices for them. They are very, very cheap. Ooh, I have the Mew one of this one. I wonder if it's not even there. All right, well, cool. Good to know that it's there. And there's just lots and lots of Pokemon nostalgia. Counterfeiters beware. We're gonna catch you all. Gosh, and it tells you how to, look. wow. It's a nice difference. <laughs> so there's that magazine. I can literally spend hours going through that one. There's this one as well. I'm kind of curious just to see if we can find out. Of course, there's Toy Story 2 and lots and lots of other nostalgic stuff. Not really, oh, there's, there's a big Pikachu right there. So there we go, Slowbro. So that was Slowbro earlier, I apologize for that. Top Deck is another, I believe Beckett make this, but I mean, I could believe completely, I could be completely wrong. Doesn't look like that base set two pack that I believe it says base set two. I don't think that's in here. So I'm pretty sure he got that done a long time ago. So there we go. Look at that. I'd like to thank all of y'all for watching this video and checking out my friend Justin's Pokemon card collection from way back when. If you are interested in purchasing this collection, whether it be one of the more high-end holographic cards, or if you wanna purchase the whole binder, shoot me an email, but only serious buyers inquire, please, because I'd like to, I'm so busy all the time, but I do take the try to take the time and uh, respond to the emails and everything, so please do if you are serious in buying the stuff. Let me know if you would like to check out some of the magazines and purchase them. I mean, probably not expensive at all. Let me know as well, as well as this, the Burger King gold plated Pokemon card. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Lean Hart. Stay awesome, stay positive. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video.